Okay, welcome back. We are now going to talk about um, how to find the correct images for your soap carving adventure. So there are some things that you need to know. When you're searching on the internet for an inspiration image, which is required, you're going to choose something you want to carve. You need to use these words. You need to use line art, Oh, I can't spell. Line art. Okay. And you also need to use um, profile. Let's talk about this. So it, if you search the words line art in a browser, here, let me get where I need to go. We're going to line art if i search line art drawing it's going to give us black and white simplified drawings much like a coloring book right like a coloring book so this is just random right but when we give it something more specific we can just take drawing out it knows what line art is if i say um dog for example then it's going to give me all these like coloring pages that are, you know, simplified drawings. So using the line art and pro is, is super important. Now let's talk about profile. So line art is a simple drawing. Okay. Now profile means from the side. This, these dogs I have here are in profile from the side. All right, now let's talk about why this is important. When you're carving something, you're gonna have to put on the front, like one side, and on the back, another side, if you're doing in, in the round. And so like this side is like the left side of the fish, right? and this side is the right side of the fish. And the only way to get the whole fish is if we draw it from the sides, right? So if I, so if I was making something like this, I would say line art fish in profile. And that's just like the exact correct English word for uh, in uh, by the side, okay? So now, it's going to show me fish in profile. Now this is not a good one, this one, because his face is turned. We don't want it face the face turned. It needs to be super from the side, like that one. That would be a good one, right? Um, but it wouldn't be a good one too, because it's so delicate if we're gonna do, um, you know, in the round. So you would look for something that fits what you wanna do. So. I, you know, I don't see this fish there today, but I, this is how I got this design. I went online and I searched line art fish in profile and I got something that is very carvable, okay? Now, even if you're doing a um, relief, um, you need to be in profile or aerial. Aerial view okay that's from above that's from above so if you're wanting to do a relief carving like this this is aerial where we're looking down onto the to the snake right so if i want to do an aerial view looking from above then oh that's still in profile right so there's an aerial view of a but like a stingray or something, right? Um, so th there's aerial view of those fish. That'd be a cool carving. So aerial view works fine um, if you're wanting to do like the top and the bottom of something. And um, profile works if you want to do the sides of something. So you just kind of have to think about what you're trying to do. So now we've got, we understand that that's how we're going to find our image. We're going we're gonna to search line art and then whatever it is in profile or aerial.
Ariel from above. Okay, and then you do that search, you're going to find something you like. Now, just for the learning purposes, I've got a few drawings that I've printed from the internet for us to use in class that you're going to learn how to carve a sketch with. But um, I do really want you to know how to select your own. So here, I have two dogs that are in profile, right, from the side. And one of them is more appropriate for um, each of these carvings. So let's talk about why. When you carve soap, anything that's sticking out on its own is really delicate and susceptible. So when we have these areas here that are so long and lean and narrow, and then there's going to be space, like when you carve it from here, there's going to be dog legs sticking down. There's going to be air in between them, negative space. We have all of this negative space, and it's supposed to hold up that dog. That soap's going to be really weak. And it's not, it's probably going to break on you, right? Ah! Right at those, ah! Where it's really, really, ah! See all those weak spots? So this would be perfect for a relief. So there would be like a bed of soap laying underneath of the dog, much like my turtle here, right? So he would just be laying here on the, on the soap. We would have a picture of the dog carved in, and the soap would be behind him to support. But this one here, he is a better option for a, um, an in the round. It's not perfect, and rarely do you find things that are perfect. And let's talk about what's not perfect. This right here, that is really d delicate and gentle and way out here on its own with this negative space all around it. And then this here, that tail, that's going to get totally like broken off immediately. So if I was going to use this sketch, I would have to alter it. I would have to draw the tail like coming up off of his back like this, right? instead so that it's not like all of this getting broken off and I would probably make his foot come out and touch the the arm here maybe even widen his arm a little bit so that these are touching too the more everything is touching the less negative space you have the stronger it's going to be so you'll notice here everything sticking off of this fish is kind of big and chunky and bulky and that makes a huge difference in how strong it can be. So we've realized that we can, we can carve any way we want. We can do a relief, we can do it in the round, but we have to pick a drawing, um, an inspiration image that is going to support what we wanna do. So either you say, I really wanna do something in the round and you choose something that supports that, that doesn't have a bunch of, um, real delicate stuff sticking off on its on its own or you say I really I found a drawing I really want to do and because I like this this one I'm going to use that so I hope that makes sense so um things for your notes okay what are we going to search we're going to search line art we're going to search the whatever it is line art dog profile right line art fish profile or line art snake line art snake aerial and when you search those on your phone it's going to give you all that really great stuff so here I'm going to go in I'm going to take out fish and I'm going to put in snake um, things you're not allowed to carve oh wouldn't that be pretty on top of a soap bar that would be pretty, but would not work at all as a re as a in the round, right? Because it would break unless you made all of these touch, right? So we have to think about how we might change things. Oh, snakes are so pretty. Love snakes, but this isn't good, right? Because it's not it's not from the side and it's not an aerial. It's kind of in between, and that's not a good reference image for carving. So you have to really pay attention to the angle. And sometimes you find things you like and it doesn't work. That's really cool right there, right? That could go atop a piece of soap. So either one, you're allowed to choose. You can do profile, 
you can do aerial, um, you can do <clears throat> in the round or high relief, but you got to decide. Okay, so I'm going to let you go on that one. Make sure you finish up your notes and move on to the next video.